Hi folks, Fred here. Uh, we went on a tour with Tail High to the American Treasure Tour Museum. It's located in Oaks, PA. It is a huge place. It's over 100,000 square feet of museum. It contains all kinds of stuff. Hundreds of music type machines all kinds of model airplanes, miniature circuses, classic cars, dolls and dollhouses, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, a large portion of what we saw, we did via a tram just to see it. Uh, this video is just a small portion or a few clips of what I recorded while we were going on the tour. Uh, we actually spent over two hours uh, going through this thing. So, here you go. I hope you like it. On the first train, my name is Virginia, and I am your tour guide. Uh-uh. That's the good news. The bad news is I'm also the train driver. Ah, uh, no. Well, I did get my license Sorry. back last week, so you're in good hands. Damn. That's a joke. Okay, we're going to get started. Uh, we have two pretty full trams today. Welcome to the American Treasure Tour. You are in the toy box. You are in the vintage area. When we are done with the tram ride, we are headed to the museum. It's the first thing you're going to see on the right after the first pole. And Dora, the explorer, in a soapbox derby car on the right. So take all of those in. By the way, our gentleman that owns all of this wishes to remain anonymous. He wants his collection to be the star of the show. And the first thing we're going to talk about are cars. There's a 1956 car top convertible. It's a two-seater Thunderbird on your right. They sold those only for three years, and they were made to compete with the Chevrolet Corvette. After the Thunderbird, you're going to see a Studebaker. Dodgem Brothers, and they're from 1950. And don't miss the Philadelphia Toboggan Company roller coaster carriage. It's the wooden carriage. Those in the back will see it soon. This is from the 1930s. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my, no one said oh my after that. Well, we have in Dayton, Ohio. He was a contemporary of the Wright brothers and he too was an inventor. Mr. Custer made this chair easy to use. It has a tiller bar. And if anybody got in your way, it also has a trolley bell and that pretty much parted the waters. Her interior.
guy's a real collector. Dirk Denny. He's a long man.
got side chin banners. Of course, Jerry's train is going to hear about them on the way out, but I don't want my people to miss all of these banners. They're exact replicas of old sideshow art. And it gives you an idea of what the circus culture was back in the early 1900s. sticks out the bottom and what makes the music this bar presses that metal down onto a star wheel system that activates the musical cone right there well that's the little video clip i hope you liked it ciao for now <laughs>